Steve Hirsch, NRC, and I'm with the Tomahawk here. This is where I'm up to. I have to paint the body now. We're on step 34. So I'm going to get this ready, and then we're going to paint it in the paint booth. And put all the decals on and see how she comes out. Warning. I masked off the body with the included masks, but you could see the window mask they give you is larger than the window. So I'm going to have to trim that right side off where the black line is. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Alright, I have the body ready here. We got the Tamaya PS37. This is a translucent red. So I'm going to spray this on first. I'm going to turn the fans on. Gonna hit this with the hair dryer. Got spots on it here. That's no good. Well, I don't know what happened. There's all spots on this. I cleaned it with a dishwashing fluid soap. I don't know why it did that, but oh well. Hopefully it'll work. Alright, I got the translucent clear. Now I'm going to put this PS14. This is the copper that I did my frog in. So I figured behind that it should look really neat. So let's do it. I'm going to turn the fans on. Alright, I got one coat of this copper on. I'm going to put another coat and that'll be it. There we go. I think I got it all. Hopefully, we'll let that dry. Hit it with the hair dryer. Just want to show you guys, I got more fans on this. I can make it go really fast. Listen, that would have sucked it right out, but gotta keep it quiet for the video. All right, it's done. It ain't the best. It has some flaws I could see. I don't know why it did them dimples and stuff, but we're gonna take this off and see what it looks like. If I could get it off. Oh. Too bad the color looks awesome. Oh, the joy. Ah, this stuff sticks good. Too bad the color looked nice. There's a couple little dimples in it. Still looks like a beauty.
Eh, actually came out nice. Ain't that bad. This stuff ain't coming off too easy. I missed over here. Actually, that's a nice color. Too bad I got that on it and little dimples, but other than that, it's alright. The color's fantastic, just that I don't know why it did the dimple effect. I always clean them with the dishwashing soap, but there it is. I think it looks nice. Let's see what it looks like on the buggy. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's like a candy red maroon. That's going to look sharp with the stickers on it. Alright, next I'll be putting the stickers on and seeing if the mask works. Alright guys, I'm finished with the tomahawk. Let me tell you, it's a beauty. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Here we go. I'm going to get some photos of it outside also for you so you can see what it looks like. Check that out. That is a beauty. It's like candy red maroon like blood and outside in the sun it looks super nice. I took it out there already. What a great looking buggy. This thing is awesome looking. So there she is, a great kit. I had a blast building it too. That candy color is sweet. Check it out. Let me turn this light on here to see if it looks any different. For you guys. It's a beauty, man. That is sweet. It's going to be scary when I drive this one. I don't want to mess this up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go outside and get some photos, and I'll put them up next. That's it, guys. It's a real nice one. I like the build. This buggy looks super sharp. There's the box art behind it. I have to say, I think mine looks better. <laughs> cool build if you like buggies. This classic chassis is real nice also, so you may want to give this one a try. I really love this chassis, this uh, Kyosho Vintage chassis. It drives really nice also, so that's a bonus. Uh, let me get them photos and check them out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up and a comment. It helps me and the channel out a lot. I greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for the pictures coming up next. Thanks, guys. Also want to say thanks to the RC Elf who sent this in. He's awesome. He gifted me this kit. And it's a beauty. Thanks RC Elf. I really appreciate it. Uh, you did so much and got me so much nice kits. Um, I don't know what to say anymore. You're amazing. Thanks a lot. I know the other RC guys are thinking the same. You're an amazing guy for sending us these kits. And I really appreciate it.